Hi, this is London Aaron with Traveling Flamingo. There are tons of unique dining on Virgin Voyages and it's all included. How do you decide which restaurants to go to and which to pass on? Today we're taking you to Test Kitchen, which is the most unique restaurant on Virgin. But that doesn't mean it's for everyone and it's not our favorite. We're going to tell you everything you need to know so you can decide if this restaurant is one you want to try. All that and more coming right up. Virgin Voyages has changed up a lot of things when it comes to cruising. All dining is included, basic beverages are included, and the entertainment is not like anything we've experienced on other cruise lines. We tried all the restaurants on Virgin and we did not love our experience at Test Kitchen. And there are many other restaurants we'd want to go back to instead. So let's jump into this starting with the atmosphere and theming. This is something that really separates Test Kitchen from other restaurants. It's more of a laboratory than a kitchen, hence Test Kitchen. After you enter through the food periodic table of elements, you come into the dining area, which has almost a sterile feeling with the light greens in the metal. There are tons of seating options, including long tables, booths, and we were seated at bar chairs around the kitchen prep area. The decor is very simple with lavender and measuring cups, simple metal cutlery, and of course, you can see the chefs finishing off the dishes in the middle. It's a cool theme and there are windows all along one side so you don't forget you're on a cruise ship. I've never been to a restaurant like this on a cruise ship before and the decor was definitely my favorite part. For the location, you can find Test Kitchen on all Virgin Voyages ships. We were on Scarlet Lady and it was on Deck 6, right near the retail shops on the other side of Extra Virgin. I just want to jump in here and let you know we have tons of videos to help you plan your trip, including port tours like Cozumel and tons of reviews, so when this video is done, be sure to check our channel out. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's jump into the menu. It's a six course tasting menu where the chefs are pushing the culinary boundaries. The menu card is where you're told the main ingredient for each dish. Where we really saw the boundaries pushed was how these are presented as a gastronomic experience. They're small dishes, so it's more of a tasting menu, but we left feeling pretty full. If you have any food allergies, they're really good, just let them know. And they're also willing to swap out food if there is an item or a main food ingredient you don't like. We decided we just wanted to give everything a try, so even though there are a couple things that we don't usually love, we wanted to see what they did with it. If you're on longer cruises, they may even have two menus. So if you have flexibility with your booking, you could ask the servers which nights if you wanted to try a different menu. They also have some unique drinks and we had a couple fun mocktails. If you're interested in drink pairing, they do offer that. It's an extra $35. So let's get through the meal that we had. The first plate was a mushroom shaped pate. Aaron does not love mushrooms, but thought he would give it a try. And he didn't mind it on the crackers. Next was the egg, which comes in a smoky dome. I like the presentation more than the flavor on this one. Next up is the scallops and I really enjoyed those. For the next course, I had the venison and Aaron had the beef. Both were cooked really nicely and we loved the sauces it was with. My favorite part of the entire meal might have been those potatoes. They were so flaky and crispy and delicious. The next course was a blue cheese course and I do not love blue cheese and I guess I do not love it in mousse form either. <laughs> the chocolate dessert was really nice. It was right up Aaron's alley with some nice mousse layers. You definitely want to come with an open mind and be prepared to try new things or familiar things but in new ways. <laughs> like with all dining on Virgin, as you said, it's free. It's pretty great though for a six course gastro meal that you're not having to pay extra. So if you come and you give it a try but find the food is a little too far outside your comfort zone, you can always grab a piece of pizza on the way back or to your next activity. For us though, it wasn't our favorite restaurant. We were not prepared for the meal to take three hours and we were seated in the bar stools which were not very comfortable. We were also on a Caribbean cruise and I was wearing a sundress and I was freezing for the full three hours. Note to self, just always bring a sweater. It's a unique atmosphere, but the meal wasn't my favorite. This is also not something I'd want to do on the Scarlet Red Night as you'd miss out on all the fun because it took so long. We preferred the atmosphere at Pink Agave and the food at Extra Virgin. 
I think we would give it another try because I don't know if three hours is common and if our experience was something that isn't normal, but I definitely just felt the night dragged on and there were other things we'd want to be doing than spending three hours there. We do often get asked about the dress code when sailing. Virgin Voyages doesn't have a dress code, but we're surprised at how many people took the opportunity to dress up for dinner. Overall, it is a very unique dining experience and you'll want to come with an open mind. How Virgin has set up their dining is you can eat somewhere new every night and have a completely different dining experience. There are so many restaurants on board. Side note, if you're interested in some more of our content, we have another channel, Flamingos in Wonderland, where we talk about all things Disney and theme parks. Do you have a favorite restaurant on Virgin Voyages? Have you ever dined at Test Kitchen? Do you have any other videos you'd like us to make? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your experiences and being part of this community. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels.